These things have the kind of bass that make you frown your face up. You know how you hear a song and it's real good? Look at my face! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, anyways, like when you listen to some music, right? And you just jamming and you know, you just just chilling out, right? And all of a sudden that bass drop, you just can't help but frown up your face and ball up your face. You're like, mmm. That's what kind of music comes out of these. Like my ears are t like itching right now. It's like, you know that that mmm. You gotta frown up your face like you smell some stank stuff, you know what I mean? It's like, mmm, oh, it makes my ears tickle. Oh, 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 God, <laughs> yes, son of a. God. Shit. Oh, my God. Do you hear this? It's rattling the table. Hold on. Oh, man, that was a low freaking note. Oh, my God. It got all up in my neck. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> That's the crusher. That's the crusher. Mm. Oh man. Oh yeah, they did it to me again. God, dog, the third time was a charm. Let's do it. Yeah, baby. Welcome back, JD Elliots. Welcome to the show, man. Hey, and to you new guy, girl, welcome to JDL TV, the Untech Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. I love watching my wife do deadlifts, Richardson. And today we are checking out the Skull Candy Crusher Evo. Man, I've got a long history with these headphones, man. Well, not these, but the Skull Crusher, or I call them Skull Crushers or Noggin Thumpers, but they are the Crusher uh, Evo and ANC and Crusher Wireless. Man, these are great headphones all around, but they keep trying to make them better and better. And every time I feel like they succeed. So let's go ahead and check out these Evos, man. All right, so taking a look at a few things on the box. They, of course, got the sensory base and the 40 hours of playtime. And they have the tile feature on here where you can find your headphones if you lose them. Apparently, there is a community of people who can't keep track of their stuff. So they're putting tile in a lot of things. And, and Skull Candy has just doubled and tripled down on that. Uh, if you lose your crushers, you're going to be able to find it via the tile community where you can just kind of GPS where your stuff is. So that's super cool. Cool. So you know every time a box has the plastic on it, I gotta call out my co-star, Mr. Meat. There he is, there's my buddy, Mr. Meat. Hey, you know what, man? It is a special day. Today is uh, September 11th, and we are remembering the day that America was attacked in 2001. And I had just gotten out of the military. I was uh, did four years in the United States Marine Corps, and uh, that's where Mr. Meat comes from, man. So. Mr. Meat has been with me that long, man. It's been quite a few years. So let's just take a look at Mr. Meat and honor Mr. Meat. Ah, check this out, man. I, I know you're having a hard time because of the glare, but this is me probably back in 1999, I think, maybe. Uh, this is me as a corporal in the Marine Corps. See that that handsome young face right there in the halo? Oh, man, this is, um, this is NCO of the quarter. I was a corporal back then, but I actually got out of the military as a sergeant. But speaking of military, man, I want to give a special shout out to all of our, our troops uh, in all the branches and uh, especially our first responders, you know, from 9-11 who, you know, risked their lives to save people and, you know, get the cities back together and stuff like that. Like, I, I highly commend you guys and you guys will always be in my heart, past, present and future. And uh, yeah, man, since I'm giving shout outs, you know, I got to give a shout out to all my devil dogs out there. Hoorah. All right, let's get to it, man. Mr. Meat, it's time to do your thing, baby. <laughs> mm. Woo -hoo. Mm. Get, mm. Take the clothes off. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There it is, y'all. There it is. All right, they got a whole bunch of waves and stuff right there. Like I care about that kind of stuff, man. I don't care. Let's get into this package. I'm ready. All right, there we go. We got the uh, the headphones here. We got some instructions on how to use the app and stuff. We got this different case, man, or it's not a case, it's a uh, pouch. And this is like a 
it's almost like a oh it's well it says it's not waterproof right there but it is it does look like one of those waterproof pouches that you roll up man y'all smell that whoo man Ooh. god dog yeah you know what that smell is homie mmm yeah man all the veterans say it with me <laughs> new stuff hashtag new stuff in the comment section baby so this pouch if you buckle it it won't let you pull out the headphones i don't know if you can actually roll it up yeah yeah you can roll it up if you want to if and se like secure them but man this is a cool pouch man golly you can use this for way more than your headphones that's cool but it does have a little pocket in here for your headphones all right so let's see what else is in here i'm assuming this is just the cable right here is it is that the cable see what kind of cable it came with i know it's a usb-c charging yeah usb to usb-a or usb-c to usb-c-a or you know what i'm saying and then you got your 3.5 to 3.5 but there is no inline mic in this one so you can't be using this one for gaming and stuff like that not in, not if you want to chat if you just want to play games with it that's cool but if you want to chat you're gonna have to go elsewhere so you got your your uh qr code for your app right there i might need that i still have the app on my phone from the anc's but maybe i'll need it for something else let's show this box some respect we'll put it right there and then the star of the show oh man i'm i'm so ready these feel good man they got that that kind of get in here dude why are you so far back oh you want to look from this side okay well get in here and look at this man you can Man, it just, I like the way they feel. They got that soft touch coating right there. Uh, I've had other Skull Candy headphones that have this touch right here, but this one just feels a little bit more premium, to be honest with you. They do swivel. So you see that swivel right there? You see that swivel action, baby? And then they do fold up. I really like the power button. I'm digging the power button being orange like that. I, I thought that was an LED when I saw it online, but I, I, I like that, the way they've done that. Then right there, you got your 3.5, your USB-C, and then you have the infamous base slider. And it does have a good sliding feel to it. It's not loose at all. I'm glad. I'm really glad they went away from the sliding on the uh, ear cup right there. I, I really like the actual slider. It gives me that classic Skull Candy Crusher feel where you can just slide that bad boy up. And they say that this is a mellow bass and then this one is going to be a bone rattling bass. We'll just have to figure that one out ourselves during our trials. But on the opposite ear cup, you do have your traditional button right here. You got your volume up and down, which is also going to double as a uh, uh, track buttons forward and back and then you have your multifunction play and pause button right there so this, i mean i'm really glad that they did not stray away from their classic skull candy crusher design or even skull candy uh, uh you know period because i think all their headphones are pretty much laid out like this i really like the way they've stuck with that because it just works man if it ain't broke don't fix it as far as like sliding them for the big headed folks uh you do have that kind of stop right there where it kind of just clicks in place and skull handy headphones i've always liked because they are geared for small headed people paws i'm just saying that they really do fit my head nice because they have this right here which allows my little pointy head to stick up in there and not be tampered with but then they also you know they fit really good on my head so let's just go ahead and see how that works out now oh uh, yeah okay so i always have to open them up maybe one or two clicks but this is how they look on the head, man. All right, so just in case you were wondering, now you got a good look. Man, that looks good, man. Traditional skull candy stuff. They really actually follow the design of the uh, Crusher ANCs. Now, will these be better than the ANCs? Are they meant to replace the ANC? I don't know, man. We'll just have to figure that out. Look, man, I know y'all came here with a bunch of questions, but the real JD aliens came here with one question in mind. Hey, JDL, but do they jam, though? Jamie, Jamie. Oh. A few moments later. Okay, okay. Oh man. God dog. Oh th that was a lot. It was fun, <laughs> but it was a lot. Wow. Dang, they keep making these headphones better and better every time they do it. <laughs> All right, man. Um, where do I start with this? 
I, I, I know you want to know, do they jam? Yes, they jam. Um, but they're, they're it's, it's stupid bass. <laughs> this is stupid, man. I remember the, the Crusher Wireless. I remember the Crusher 360. I remember the Crusher ANC. Now we got the Evo. I got to say the best bass experience comes from the Evo. Oh, wow. It, it, it's definitely, I mean, I haven't heard the other ones in a minute, but I, this is this is solid man i mean those notes the low notes it captures it captures just about all the low notes you want to hit look at this man i had it all the way up but god you don't never need to turn it up that high man just <laughs> like like that much man that's really all you need that that might even be too much let me turn that down a little bit that's about all you need right there because when you turn this all the way up yeah you can still hear the music you still will enjoy it if you can get past the vibrations, man, I was feeling this all in my back, my lower back, like <laughs> that tickly spot back there. <laughs> Pause, man. <laughs> I was feeling it everywhere. It was like through my whole stinking body, man. The vibrations in here is, it's just unreal. But it, it, it's just a great overall experience when it comes to the bass. I did try out some songs with with the bass slider off or just like ugh, just a little bit like i had it like right here like ugh, just a fingernails worth of push and it sounded really great i mean it was a great balanced experience the highs and the mids are, are really good when you turn the bass down and just kind of focus on you know like the music you're listening to when you're not listening to bass heavy music it's a really good set of headphones to listen to for all around listening. I was really surprised because Skull Candy usually goes hot and heavy on the bass. They didn't really do that once you turn this down. As a matter of fact, so once you get into the app, you have three EQ modes. I thought this was going to be like a toggling type of EQ where you can slide the deal deals up and down. For some reason, I thought I saw that in one of their ads. But they have music mode, movie mode, and podcast mode. Music mode is naturally awesome for music. And movie mode, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't really get much out of that. Uh, it sounded a lot like the music mode. Uh, so maybe I'll have to experiment with that some more, maybe with some action movies or something like that. But podcast literally removes moves all the bass out of your out of the sound that way you can focus on voice because yes it is a podcast so audiobooks and podcasts you're going to have a great listening experience you won't get any uh bass pops or anything like that it's just going to be straight audio from the person's mouth which is awesome you're going to get your battery levels here and it's just going to tell you that you're connected then you can go in settings yada 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 but then we have the personal sound so mine is actually optimized it says jdl sound right there this is optimized from my uh, crusher ancs i have not even changed this it just you know it has it in there already so you can go in here and set as many profiles as you want mine is optimized for me and that's probably why they sound so dang good this is oh this is ridiculous man so that's the app experience right there but um whoa the bass the bass is they they call it brain rattling bass i think or skull rattling bass it is body rattling bass like you feel that vibration all the way to the bottom of your spine it is stupid just stupid man how much bass comes out of these headphones now the overall volume seems to be a little bit louder skull candy is kind of notorious for having lower volume headphones these these are maybe one or two clicks a little higher man these, these I like i like the volume the overall volume in these and that brings me to active noise canceling i don't think you need it man it's like uh if you're gonna i mean if a plane really does bother you or a subway does bother you at lower volumes of course you're gonna want some anc but you know just crank up the bass a little bit <laughs> <laughs> the bass will cancel out all the noise. I swear to you. You mark my words. The bass will cancel out all of the noise. So, yeah, man, this is a great overall headphone experience, man. This right here, this is the total package. I mean, like I said, they don't have ANC. They don't have any, you know, sensors and fancy stuff. And that is totally okay with me, man, especially at this $200 price point. They got an app in here and they, they do have different EQ modes. They got the swiveling. They got a premium bill. I'm going to call this a premium bill because this feels solid, man. I'm going to do my, my Jim's review room stuff right here. So shout out to Jim, man, wherever you are, this is for you. So they don't even make any sounds. You hear how quiet that is? You hear that? Oh man, this is solid. Solid build quality, beautiful build quality. And the ear cups do come off so you can change them if you want to, but that crusher sound, man, they tune this sound better and better 
with every set of headphones they come out with. I know you want me to compare them to all the other crushers and some other headphones, and I will, but not in this video because we already ran over the time I wanted to go. This is just ridiculous, man. If you're thinking about buying them, $200 is a great price for these headphones, man. I Mark my words, man. You will absolutely love the experience you get with these, hands down. If you're thinking about it, just, just pull your wallet out and throw it at the computer screen because you just buy the headphones. They're, they're that good. Holy crap. I'm done. Look, man, I am no expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is my medulla oblongata, however you pronounce that, it's been tickled and ruptured, and I've had another orgasm thanks to the Skull Candy Crusher Evo. Man, I, I like these, man. Who I like these. Hey, I got to get out of here and go make some more videos, but until I get back with some comparisons of these bad boys with the other crushers, hey, make sure y'all keep being good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you. Oh, so you wanted them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might want to consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you. And I'll see you at the next one. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?